GTF Kisa was good. Another day, another video. GTF was good. GTF was good. If you woke up this morning, you are blessed. Jared. If you woke up this morning, you are most definitely blessed. GTF was good, man. We in traffic with it right now, man. Early in the morning. We in traffic with it. Trying to make this appointment. Yeah, so I'm running an errand right now, basically. You understand me? Trying to make this appointment. I ain't gonna lie, so much traffic out here. You know what I mean? And the place that I'm going, uh, being with all this traffic, it was an hour away. You feel me? It's gonna take me an hour to get there. So I ain't gonna lie, it's crazy, man. Miami, man. Miami on full right now. You're gonna need nobody else to move down here, man. Matter of fact, we need some people to move up out of here. Yeah, we need some people to relocate, man. You understand me? Yeah, man, being that I'm trying to make this appointment, I really didn't plan anything for the day as far as food. So it's going to be a freestyle type of day, you understand me? It's going to be a freestyle type of day. I don't know what I got a taste for today, though, you feel me? I still don't know what I mean. Like, yesterday I did that Burger King thing. I really don't know what I got a taste for today, man. I really don't know, but GTF, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. Traffic crazy right now, bro. It's a lot of cars out here, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. This man, CB calling me. What's good, Ken? What they do? Yeah, man, I hit you up earlier, man. I'm on my way to the, um, to go handle something real quick. What you got going on today? Oh, you got the kids? All right, well, I'm gonna hit you up when I'm done and doing what I'm doing. All right. Yeah, fan, that was your boy CB here. He got the kids today. I don't know I'm gonna be able to scoop him up today, though, you feel me? Like, you know, depending on how long he got the kids and what, how long it take me to do to get done with what I gotta do. But yeah, fan, we in traffic with it right now. Yeah, let go. Alright fam, we back in the whip. So fam, I ain't gonna lie to y'all though. Like I don't know why the DMV employees always angry, bruh. They always angry. I ain't never met a nice DMV employee. DMV Division of Motor Vehicle. I ain't never met a nice one, but they always angry. I don't know what they got going on. But it's crazy. But basically, that's the errand that I had to run this morning. Um, I had to come here to handle some business. And, uh, you know, now they be doing this appointment thing. This appointment system. So you go online, they're supposed to make an appointment. So I went online yesterday. Text me. I went online yesterday. I went online yesterday to make an appointment. Um, their website was acting up. I tried to make the appointment numerous times for today. I tried to book the 9 a.m. time. And when you book the appointment, you, you know what I'm saying, you type in your information, you put the time and all that, then you hit submit. It's supposed to send you a text message because although you hit submit, your appointment is not confirmed. They're gonna send you a text, and then once you click the link on the text, it's supposed to take you to another page where you confirm the appointment. I don't know why they added all these extra steps, but anyway, they sent me, they text me the link. I click on the link. And it didn't take me to wherever I was supposed to go confirm this appointment. It just takes me back to applying for appointment again. I'm like, bruh, like what this? I tried to do it numerous times, numerous times, like three, four, five times. I totally did it, and it, it it wouldn't work. The website was down or whatever they case been going on. So I still took a chance and drove an hour away to come up here, bro. You know what I mean? I mean, it's not probably an hour away from me, but with the traffic, it took an hour to get here. Maybe it's like 35 minutes from me. So. uh I get here, it's a lady there, you feel me? I wanna explain the lady my story, what have you. She told myself, oh, but you don't have an appointment, or we can't do nothing for you. I'm like, what you mean? I just showed, I showed her the text message. I showed her the text message, yo, this the, uh, you know, they sent me the text to confirm, I clicked the thing. She told myself, you were supposed to click it in 30 minutes. 
I, I did it in, within a minute of receiving a text. I did it within 30 seconds of receiving a text. It's like she trying to say like I didn't do I didn't click the text within 30 minutes. Like why would I be applying for something and they send me a text immediately and then I wait after 30 minutes to click the text? I clicked the text like almost like 30 seconds after receiving the text. I click on it. It took me back to applying for an, to, to, to apply for another appointment, bro. That, that the website wasn't working, bro. And you know what I'm saying? I try to talk to the lady, talk to the lady nicely, whatever. The lady just wasn't having it, bro. Like it's crazy. Then I was finally I spoke to another lady. Another lady, the other lady, like, you know, well, she kind of understood a little bit. And now she gave me a return pass for today to come back at 2 p.m. At 2.15 p.m., bro. 2.15 p.m. And you know what time it is right now? It is 10 o'clock. I'm about 35 minutes from home, and I do not feel like going all the way back home right now. And then coming all the way back up here. So basically right now I'm in Pompano. I'm in Pompano, Florida. You heard it? So... So I just gotta, gotta, I just gotta, I'm just staying finished. I'm gonna just got I just gotta find something to do up here. Even when it comes to the food thing, I might just find something up here to eat because like, I'm not gonna drive all the way home. It's right now, it's 10 o'clock. I'm gonna get home by 1040, let's just say. And then turn around, have to get back on the road and take like another 35 minutes to get up here. Like, man, I don't feel like going through all that. So I'm just, bro, all they had, all I, no, what I wanted was easy, bro. What I needed to get done was easy, bro. Like, they gonna put me through this whole mission, bro. But anyway, while I'm up here, uh, well, I had just got off the phone with ZB earlier, before I, before I, before I picked up the camera. Uh, I told, I was telling ZB the situation. ZB was telling me, well, you know, since you're up in Pompano, you might as well just get food up there, or whatever. You know, my dog ZB, you feel me? He kind of bright, believe it or not. So he told me about this place that he tried up here one time called the Breakfast Club. You know, he said it was pretty good. So, I don't know. I think that's what we're going to do today. Hold on. Put it in the GPS. See how far it is from here. The Breakfast Club. Oh, according to this, is less than five minutes away. Hold on. Let me hit start to see if it's accurate. Start. It says four minutes away. That ain't bad. I mean, it's still breakfast time right now. It's 10 a.m. I haven't had anything to eat yet, so I think we about to go over here and get some breakfast. That's some that, but, but uh, we doing a breakfast video today, I guess. You know what I mean? Hopefully they got something good, man. But I ain't gonna lie, man. This lady got me hot, bro. It's crazy, man. These DMV employees, bro, they never happy, bro. Like, bro, I be, I really understand why they come to work, bro. Like, why, why y'all come to work, bro? Feel me? Go do something that's gonna make you happy, bro. You don't. The, nobody should be doing a job. That makes you mad when you come to work. Find something else to do. It's that simple, dog. Like, how do people wake up every morning to go to a job you dislike? Yeah, I understand you got bills and you gotta pay your bills and stuff like that, but try to find something you like. Dog, DMV employees are always angry, bro. I ain't never met a nice DMV employee. I mean, that lady, the second lady who I spoke to today, she was, you know, she was pretty decent. At least she gave me a time. She told me to come back at like two. You feel me? She gave me the little paper, said come back at like 2.15. She was decent. But for the most part, they all make, they always angry, bro. Always, bro. It's crazy, bro. They treat they treat the people like trash. If you ask me, like the way they talk to the people when you people. I understand their job might be stressful, but at the same time, too, like, bro, like, I don't know, bro. Y'all be treating people wrong, too, bro. It's crazy, man. But yeah, man. We about to head over here to the Breakfast Club. Let go! All right, fam, we pulling up right now. There you go right here, fam, off to the left-hand side. The Breakfast Club, you heard? When ZB first told, told me about this, I was thinking, you know what I'm saying, first thing that came to mind was, uh, I mean, you know, I always listen to The Breakfast Club every morning, every, well, every time, every chance I get to listen to it in the morning, I listen to The Breakfast Club, you know what I mean, the radio show, so first thing I thought about was that. The Breakfast Club, you heard? We reversing that thing in the day, man. All right, fam, let's go in here and see what this fool hitting for. The Breakfast Club, fam. What that say? Heads down, 
fucks up. You understand me? Alright, fam. We got the grub, yeah. We got the grub from the breakfast club. You understand me? We all like that rhyme right there? We got the grub from the breakfast club. You understand me? No cap. Grub on sight. Don't cause no fight. Alright, fam. We in the whip, yeah. We in the whip. Fam, I ain't gonna cap with y'all. They got the bag all tied up. But that smell. Busting about the bag, you heard? I ain't even cap with y'all. That smell busting about the bag. Damn. Woo. All right, fam. Time to set up Grub Tip Mobile Studios. All right, fam. Um. So this is the receipt right here. This is not. Grub for under half a dub, you heard? Fam, I got me an omelet. It's a meat lover's omelet. Um, it comes with your choice with either a toast or biscuit. I got the toast. Or, um, there was another side that I could pick too, but I got the potatoes instead. In total, I spent 15 $15, yeah. $15. I ain't gonna lie, that smell smells good though. Smells good, man. Y'all already know, man. Let's get into this food. Let's pop this thing. Oh. Alright, fam. That close-up action, yeah. This is the meat lover's omelet. Turkey, bacon, ham. You understand me? Then we got the potatoes. Side of potatoes, yeah. Fam, I ain't gonna lie, this thing looking right. We got the toast over there. Fam, y'all drop in the comment. Let me know what y'all think. Gotta pour one for the GTF. All right, fam. I ain't gonna lie. I told y'all that ZB was the one that told me about the Breakfast Club up here in Pompano. I ain't gonna lie. That boy ZB, although he be messing up, that boy's a clever fellow. You heard? Because I ain't gonna lie. This fool was hitting. You heard? This fool. Oh, boy. So basically, I got the omelet. Omelet cooked the satisfaction, you heard. Got the potatoes. Potatoes cooked the satisfaction. Everything well flavored, man. I ain't gonna cap with you. I got the meat lovers omelet. Turkey, bacon, and ham in there. Oh, I got extra cheese, too. Y'all know I love yellow American cheese. They already come with yellow American cheese. I had an extra cheese, the extra cheese. You feel me? I love cheese. Cheese? You heard? Hit that omelet one time. Love that cheese, boy. I don't know why I love cheese so much. Hit that on me. Mmm. Mmm, God. Dang, so cheesy. I mean, I love yellow American cheese. Mm-hmm. That tastes so right. Mm. Fam, this thing is filled with flavor. Keep in mind, for y'all I've been watching for a while, Y'all know I don't eat everybody's eggs. These eggs, right? I don't mess with. I don't eat everybody's eggs. But these, these, this omelet right here, they made this thing on point. I got the potatoes. See the potatoes? Got that seasoning on them. Hit that bitch. Potatoes right as well. I ain't gonna lie, meal like this, it's good to eat it. It's a lot. It's good to eat it earlier in the day. Therefore, give your body time to burn it. This is definitely a good meal. So then what I did was I got the toast. I ain't gonna lie, the toast is toasted well, not over toasted, you know, not burnt, not too hard, not too soft. It's just right. So what I did, I took the toast, feel me? I put the omelet, I put some omelet on the toast. I put some potatoes on the toast. Then I put the other toast on top of the potatoes and omelet. And I closed that baby up. I looked at it one time. Then I hit that bit. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Fair mind, Allah. When it comes to cooking omelets, they know something. They definitely know something. Hit this bit again. Mm. Shout out to whoever the chef is, man. He's on me right. The breakfast club. I gotta come back. I'm gonna like, will I come here again? Most definitely will. I got onions in here too. The onions, the onions cook just right and everything. At least this is one good thing that came out of coming to this trip to Pompano. Angry DMV people. Man, your boy stuff. I can't really even. It was a lot of food. I ain't gonna lie. I can't even eat it all. And really, I can't save it for later either. Like, I don't know about y'all, but like. I never, like when it comes to eggs, like I like that like egg is like one of the type of things that I never see for later, like it will reheat it or whatever. Like once I'm done with eggs, I'm done. It's like, I can't save this for later and go reheat it and eat it again. Not with eggs. That's just me though, you feel me? I don't know if y'all the same way, what have you, but that's just me. But y'all fam, what I want to talk to y'all about today was, um, here's your chance to exit. I saw the latest, latest episode of um, what that was American, all American last night. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know I like all American. I don't know if you guys out there watch all American, but all American I like is a dope. Let me turn my AC up, man. It's hot. All American is a dope show. You feel me? I like all American. So yesterday's episode, what well, episode I saw yesterday was um, um, what happened in that episode? Oh, Olivia. And like I say, man, like when these shows is like, they always just be trying to jack, they, they be trying to jack, drag what people really want to see happen. So, you know what I'm saying? From the last previous episode, Spencer broke up. Well, the girl, she broke up with Spencer because she feel like, you know, there's going to always be a connection between Spencer, Spencer and Olivia that she can't deal with. You feel me? Which she is right, you know what I'm saying? Spencer and Olivia still got some type of thing going, you understand know what I'm saying? So, so she broke up with him in the previous episode. So now it's like, you feel me? So now you thinking like, I'm thinking like, okay, they both single now. So okay, now it's time for Spencer to make his move or for Olivia to make her move, you feel me? So they can get back together. So now, boom, Olivia had done apply in this episode, you know, for, for the previous episode, uh, Olivia had done apply for some college thing, some cultural arts thing, something like that, if I'm not mistaken. And she got accepted into the program in this episode, but it's in London. Like, come on, bruh. So now, the girl was the one that was in the way. That other girl. Now she's out of the picture. Now y'all done put some, oh, she gotta go to London shit. My bad, don't, excuse me for, for cursing. Now they done threw in the, she gotta go to London. So now she's still like, debating should she go, you feel me? She don't wanna go because, you know what I'm saying, they just lost... She just lost her dad in which her mom lost her husband. So she don't really want to leave her mom behind. But now she spoke to her mom about it. Her mom was saying, no, baby, you need to go. You need to go. Da, 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 da. Then they had the grandma in this episode. Her grandma was there telling her, trying to encourage her to go and all. But man, I, to be honest with you, I don't want to see her go. You feel me? I want to see her and Spencer get together. You feel me? I ain't going to cap with you. So then in that same episode, she had told Spencer the news. And Spencer acted like he was so happy about it. Oh, I'm so proud of you, girl. I'm proud he gave her a hug or whatever, but when he gave her the hug, like they showed his face, it was like, his face was like somebody that wasn't like, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, you know what I mean? Like, 
you don't really want her to go, but at the same time, it's like, you don't really want to hold nobody back either. So I don't know what's going to happen, bro. It's crazy. And then um, the same um, thing, um, Layla, who was the manager of, uh, what's her name? Patience. Patience manager is Layla. So now Layla told, well, you know, Layla got mad at Patience because Layla said, man, I've been told you to stay away from that girl. Because, you know, Patience got some fan that's crazy, that's that's nuts, like be eavesdropping her. Uh, the fan to put some spyware on her phone. They say it was the fan that sent the video out of, of, of Coop's girlfriend kissing patients. You feel me? So anyway, Layla was mad at the fan. Layla was mad at patients rather. She told Layla, Layla told her patients from now on, stay away from that girl, da 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 da. I'm gonna handle the situation. So Layla then went and put a, a restraining order on that girl. I think her name is Miko. They put a restraining order on Miko, told Miko, man, yo, stay away from patients. Da 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 da. If you come within whatever 100 feet of patients, you will be arrested, da 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 da. So Miko. You feel me? She was devastated. She was mad or whatever. But Miko crazy though. I ain't gonna lie. Miko nuts. You feel me? It's just certain things that you don't do. You feel me? Even if you, you know, if you're a fan of someone and, you know, it's just certain things you don't do. You know what I'm saying? Miko was just doing some crazy stuff. You feel me? So, yeah. So that happened. And then now Patience had done went live. You feel me? Like she was on the gram. So she had done went live. So now when she get live, all her fans in the comments like, hey, da 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 Whatever you feel me? So now while she in the live, she talking about Coop and stuff too. So Coop had to join the live. So she she talking, she, Coop was in the comments, in the, well not in the, in the comments, but Coop had went on Patience Live. So she seen that Patience was live, you know, talking like, you know, uh, when you somebody's fan, um, when, you're, when you're a fan of someone, that person is not your property. Somebody out there really caused me to hurt somebody that, 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 that I really love. And she was talking about Coop the whole time, you feel me? So Coop peeped that, whatever. So now while she on the live, the, the, the Miko girl joined the live and the Miko girl going crazy on there like, Patience, I've been trying to call you, pick up your phone, da 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 I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? The Miko girl going crazy. Now she in the comments going crazy, so now Patience got mad. So now she tell her, she telling everybody, all her fans, y'all need to go to Miko page and go off on her, da 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 and then block her. You feel me? So I ain't gonna lie, it's just getting crazy. I ain't gonna lie, I feel like something bad gonna happen with that Miko girl and all that. I ain't gonna lie. I hope nothing bad don't really happen, but I feel like she might try to pull a stunt, bruh. You feel me? Like she, cause she acting berserk, bro. She acting real crazy right now, bro. I don't know. And then uh, what else happened? Uh, um, oh yeah. Uh, what's the guy name? The football player, J JJ. So JJ, you know, he going through it or whatever. You know what I mean? Cause his friend overdosed on some drugs. You know, off some party situation. You know what I mean? JJ just want to change. Now he said he just feel like the partying ain't fun no more. So they were trying to get JJ to open up. Yesterday, I'm on that episode, last episode, and JJ was acting like ain't nothing was wrong with him. He don't need to open up. He don't need to open up. Da 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 da. da. You feel me? He was kept fighting them. Like it was uh Spencer, J Sp Spencer Jordan and um Asher was trying to get him to open up, but JJ didn't want to listen to them. Da 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 da. So they brought in um what's her name? They brought in Olivia. So now you feel me? Olivia had to set dog straight real quick. You feel me? Cause dog, you know what I'm saying? Like he kind of, you know what I'm saying? He he, he kind of feel like he. Like, you know what I'm saying? He had done did something wrong as far as like when it comes to Olivia because he had done came to the to the father's repast. And you know, he was drunk or whatever. And you know, he hurted the family, you feel me? So when they brought in Olivia, Olivia was able to set that boy straight. So then that boy was able to sit down and talk about his whole situation, talk about how his life was and you know how the whole party and thing came about. And then when the whole um when his friend recently overdosed on drugs, he just said the party and just wasn't fun no more and all that. So anyway. They were trying to get him to come back to the football team, but he just said he won't step away from the football team for a while trying to clean his head. But he don't know. But Asher was like, he don't know if they're going to be able to let him get back on the team. But, you know, he just said he'll try. You feel me? But I ain't going to lie, it was a good episode, man. And then Coop, oh, another one one good thing, too. Coop and the teacher. That teacher. So now Coop had them told uh, Mrs. Baker. Mrs. Baker, Olivia mom, she told Mrs. Baker about like, I don't think I'm cut out for this law school stuff no more because the teacher was picking on me. So I spoke to the teacher, I spoke up for myself about picking on me. Now the teacher, like, you feel me? Like, he ignoring me. Like, he ain't giving me no time or whatever, this and that. So now, you know what I'm saying? Mrs. Baker said, he can't do that. That's retaliation. You feel me? So now, uh, Coop went to class and then Miss Baker came to his class and showed up. You feel me? So now, so now Buddy was spooked. The teacher, he was spooked. So now Coop, you know what I'm saying? 
Cooper with the talking, Cooper speaking enough for herself or whatever, but he was spook, but he couldn't say nothing, you feel me? So I really like the fact that Mr. Miss Miss Baker stepped in for Coop. That was that was love, dog. That was love. You feel me? But yeah, man, overall it was a great episode, man. I'm about to head over here to this uh, place to try to get this driver license thing situated. But overall it was a great episode, Jerry. Most definitely check out All American, man. I love that show, you heard? Most definitely try to get you one of these omelets from the Breakfast Club down here in Pompano, Florida, too, you heard? GTF for life.